So now in this video I thought we'd just take a look at the DC motor. I'm going to put a fan on the end right there. So I got this fan from an Arduino kit, my uh, favorite Arduino kit. I forget the complete name of it, but I think it's called the Ultimate Arduino Kit, something like that. So in any case, the uh, polarity that we apply voltage will determine the direction that the uh, motor spins. I'm using these alligator clips with jumpers on them just because the purpose of uh, this motor in future videos is going to be to use it with other circuitry. So we're going to power that other circuitry along with the uh, motor here and uh, so I'm going to have to power all of that. So I'll power the breadboard and then use these alligator clips with jumpers to power the uh, motor. So there we have it, uh, pretty straightforward. All we have to do is apply a voltage to get it spinning. So right now it's 0.3 volts, not enough to get it spinning. You can see that we got uh, somewhere around 150 milliamps of current going through the uh, windings, the coils in there. Now we're going to uh, raise the voltage and watch the current. So somewhere around about 0.5 volts, it looks like it starts spinning a little bit and we get uh, close to about uh, 300 milliamps of current or so. And I've been able to power this with this fan up to about two volts and then I've been getting a grinding noise but it's not doing it now it's doing uh, pretty good there and it'll go up to a uh, there we go so we got that grinding I don't know if that's because I have the fan turning the wrong way or uh, whatnot but uh, to change the direction the fan goes let's see if we can get it slow enough where we can see what direction it's going there we go so this side was coming towards us when we had the power applied and uh, so now there you can see it's moving away from us that side there turning the other direction and I'm not going to jump right up to three but uh, there we go yeah we got to three without the grinding so maybe that is the better direction to go also I'll uh, just turn this off and we can look at the current and everything without the uh, blade right there. So I'll bring it to one and let's go uh, one, two, three. So a lot less current right there without the blade. So it's using less power. Whatever uh, that means. So in any case, uh, that's really about it. I'll unplug this. Now, sometimes I miss wire circuits and uh, so I'm not going to leave the power supply at uh, 2 amps right there. Usually I leave it about 20 milliamps because usually my circuits are less than 20 milliamps and probably nothing will be damaged at 20 milliamps. And usually I have 5 volts. So I'm just going to set the power supply to be at what I'm familiar with. But in uh, any case, that's it for this video. As I said before, I plan on using this in future videos, this motor with a more complex circuitry. And so I thought we would do uh, this little practice run here to get a little familiar with them. And so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.